So last time we added test coverage to find holes in our test suite. This time let's add some tests to areas where coverage is lacking. Hope you had time to work on those on your own. All right, so let's start by testing coverage to see where we stand. So let's go ahead and activate our virtual environment. And we can run Python manage.py. And then coverage. And so we're at 39% right now. Now how about we go ahead and focus on the user model? And before we start, let's go ahead and refactor the test suite a bit by breaking our tests up into multiple files and adding them all to a module called tests. So right now it's a bit unorganized, our test suite, which will only get worse as we add more tests. And to save time, I already updated this, and you can actually grab the code from the repository within the test module here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Sublime. So what did we change? So if you open up the test module, you can see that there's three main test files, forms, functional, and models. And I also abstracted the setup and teardown to a separate file to keep the code dry, since this is going to be used in each of our test files. And you can notice how we're really only hitting the functional tests, which covers functionality right now. Now before we add tests, let's update our manage.py file. And we need to update the directory where the test runner searches for tests. So we can just put in tests and tests. And let's go ahead and run the test suite again, just to make sure that everything works. Perfect. Okay, so now we can focus on adding new tests. So let's go ahead and start with the most basic tests, ensuring that registration works. And we've actually already written this test, which you can see here, test use registration. So let's just go ahead and move this from, the from this test underscore functional file. Let's go ahead and cut that. Paste it there. And then we can go ahead and run the tests again. Cool. So we're going to add a couple more tests. And again, we're going to grab these from the repository for the sake of time. So let's go ahead and ensure that the ID is correct for logged in users. So go to tests, test models. Go ahead and grab this test here. So here, we log in the user we added in the setup method, and then ensure that the user ID equals one. So let's run our tests again. Perfect. Okay, so hashing. So I, I like to also ensure that hashing, password hashing, is actually working. So again, let's open up our, grab the code from the repository here, grab this test here, go ahead and paste it in. So in this test, we're just ensuring that the unhashed password is the same as the user provided password so that the user can be logged in correctly. And let's go ahead and run our test suite again. Perfect. And if you notice here, we have really an unnecessary assert here. So assert false, current user ID is 20. So if this one 
works, this one is automatically going to be false. So we don't really need to test for it. The same for here. So if this cert checks out, we don't really need to check this one. That being said, I like to have that extra little insurance policy there, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in. Okay, so let's jump back to coverage. So now we've added a few tests. Let's check to see if our coverage increased at all. Nope, so we're still at 39%. So do you see how the coverage percentage can be misleading? We've added some pretty solid tests, yet coverage has not changed. Anyway, how about we attack coverage a bit and raise the percentage to appease our boss? And to do that, let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper into coverage. We can go ahead and open this up in a finder, and then open index.html. And then we can drill down on our models, and let's see what we can test here. How about we test the representation method here? which tells Python how to print the objects. And to do this, we can just add an assert to our test user registration test. So if we go back to our tests here, so test models, so we can say user equals, we want to go ahead and grab the user. So user.query. Filter, we want to filter by email. So email equals, and that's going to be this email right here, of course. Dot first. And then we can do self dot cert true. And then we can just set that equal to name Michael. And that follows the format in our models.py, which you can see right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our coverage again. And so you can see that actually increased the coverage percentage by 3% in our models. So another thing, I do not like how the objects are represented. So let's go ahead and update our models.py. So I'll just put a little dash there. Run a closing thing there. Then save that. Be sure to go ahead and update the uh, tests as well. Then let's go ahead and run our tests again. Perfect. Well, we didn't increase coverage as much as I would have liked, but we did get our test suite in place to really tackle testing. So we'll continue to focus on testing next time before we add the next piece of major functionality into our application. As always, try adding tests on your own. Comment below if you have questions or would like a quick code review. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week.